everybody. We thought for Hispanic Heritage Month it'd be fun to show everyone the difference between some Texas Mexican food and some California Mexican food. Today I'm here in my hometown of La Puente, California at Cortez Brothers Mexican food where we're gonna try breakfast burrito. In Texas, breakfast tacos are the big thing. Here in California, it's breakfast burritos. So here is the machaca breakfast burrito. My husband and I are sharing it and that's why it looks small, but it's twice the size of this. Notice it has the machaca inside, uh, which is shredded beef and, and uh, egg, uh, beans and cheese. Now go ahead and take a bite. manager at Villa Finale. Today we're gonna look at some breakfast tacos. I know my coworker Sylvia from California had a breakfast burrito but here in Texas tacos are more popular. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> got the salsa for sure. We got three different kinds today. So let's check it out. Oh well, traditional breakfast taco is a potato name. So here you see some potato nay taco. Sausage nay. And one of my favorites is chorizo and bean. So let's go with the potato nay right now. Need some salsa on that. Texas breakfast taco, provecho. That's some good stuff. So another popular thing here in California are Baja style fish tacos. And we are still in La Puente, California at my favorite place to buy Baja style fish tacos here at El Taco Nazo on Valley Boulevard. Okay, these are the Baja style fish tacos. Notice there's cabbage, onion, or pico de gallo, and then you have your chile huerito down here. It's roasted with salt and pepper and other spices, and little salsa, and uh, it's it's uh, battered. You can see the close-up of the fish in there. You can see it's nice and crispy. Delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, now my fish taco is ready to go. Put a little uh, lemon on there and some salsa. First bite. Mmm. So another popular thing here in California is birria, which is a beef stew that's made out of goat. We're here at Birria Estilo TJ Truck to get some birria to enjoy this afternoon. Okay, so here mm -hmm. is the birria stew. Well, it's not stew. It's just, this is without any juices. It's delicious. Like I said, it's, it's goat. All right, so here's my little birria, a little bit of lemon on there. And then a little bit of hot sauce, nice and red. There we go. With my radishes. Put my radish. Mm -hmm. mm. Hello, it's Orlando again, the business guy manager of Villa Finale. And today I got some baracoa, kind of a traditional weekend thing uh, families will get. We have some baracoa, tamales avocado and also some menudo so let's make a barbacoa taco get our tortilla here nice and warm and then get some of this nice meaty barbacoa put that in there can't miss a little salsa and let's enjoy That's a good breakfast. So traditionally in California, tacos are with corn tortillas. In San Antonio, it's the flour tortilla that rules. So if you want corn tortillas in San Antonio for tacos, you usually go get street tacos. Now we're standing here at Carlos Tijuana Tacos to have some tacos Tijuana style, um, just about two and a half 
hours down at the border. Okay, so here are the Tijuana style tacos. We got um, we got mushrooms, we got adobada, we got asada, we have chicken, um, and I forgot what else. We got a little bit of everything with radishes. Got to have the radishes and the lemons and, and the grilled little little uh, jalapenos here. Just a quick bite of one without anything on it. Mm. Mm. Homemade tortillas. Delicious. Hi, I'm Orlando, Ben and Grounds Manager of FNLE, and today we're going to be trying some street tacos. So let's see what we got here. We got some asada tacos, which always come with some borracho beans. And then of course you got usually your two salsas, red and green. So let's go ahead and try some out. I'm gonna go with the green salsa. Let's see who this one goes. It's a little bit there because you never know how hot it's gonna be. Cheers. <laughs> 